Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with my wax and candle empties for the month of October 2021. I don't have any chit chat, so let's jump right into my Bath and Body Works candles. So I will start with the first candle that I burned up this month or back in October. This is my pineapple pound cake from this year. Key notes are fresh pineapple sweet vanilla pound cake sprinkled with powdered sugar. And I believe that this is just a repackage of the um, pineapple bakery items or bakery scents that we've had before. So like pineapple cream puff maybe. Um, what what else do we have? Like pineapple crumb cake. So don't at me if it's not a direct repackage, but I'm pretty sure that it is because I've had those before and it just kind of smells the same. So I know a lot of people kind of lost their minds over this and I did enjoy it, but it's not something that I feel like really compelled to go get again soon. So I can see myself repurchasing essentially this scent, um, however it comes back out um, in the future. But for right now, I'm pretty good. Okay, the next one that I burned toward the beginning of the month actually ended its life in my in my candle crock. This is my summer boardwalk for this year. Again, all the wax is out because it uh, lived and died for the most part in my candle crock. Um, so the key notes are caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salty sweet cream. I feel like maybe I put this in my crock because perhaps it wasn't burning very nicely. Um, so you can kind of see the schmutz line and that indicates how much I burned it and then put it in the crock. So yeah, I think that maybe that was my issue because typically summer boardwalk is not a candle I have problems with, especially not with throw and with strength. So I think that that must have been the problem. So anyway, I've got one more and I do love summer boardwalk um, and I will enjoy it just like sometime. But yeah, even though it lived its life in my crock, I would definitely repurchase it again. Okay, so now let's get into some other fall candles. I used up my champagne, apple, and honey. Now, even though I have wax left in this and the wicks look mostly okay, except for this one up here, it did end its life in my candle crock. So for some reason, the wick clips just didn't come totally um, unglued and they just stayed in there. So the, the wax kind of moves, if you can hear that, a little bit, um, but it's not totally disconnected. So anyway, um, the key notes for this are pink lady apple, sparkling champagne, and jasmine honey. So I believe those are the key notes that we get for body care, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that this came out in a candle this year because I am a champagne, apple, and honey fan. I was a little concerned when I first bought it because it was pretty light on cold. And it wound up in my candle crock because about the halfway point, it did dud out in terms of its throw. So I just put it in the crock for a few more days and it gave me good strength and then that was it. So um, I would repurchase it next year too if it comes out again in a candle form, but I think it's one that I'll purchase knowing that it will probably be in the crock. So I just have to keep that in mind. And the last Bath & Body Works candle that I used up was also really strong the first half or so and then it um, was in my crock for the rest of it. This is the Wicked Apple for Halloween of this year. Keynotes are ghostly green apple, creepy, creepy caramel drizzle and vicious vanilla bean. So I don't really, not really get a vanilla bean, but I get the apple first and then the caramel for sure. I picked this up because I love green apple fragrances. I think that Bath and Body Works does green apple pretty nicely. Um, and I thought the packaging was fun for Halloween and I loved this spider web lid. I thought it was really fun. So um, again, even though it ended its life in my crock, I'm okay with that. I really enjoyed having this. I don't know that I would buy another one per se, but I do hope it comes out next year um, because then I would buy another one. Okay, so I'll move on to my last two candles. I also used up one of my Yankee large jars. This lived its entire life in my crock and most of the time my Yankee stuff does that. Um, so this is my Yankee candle in blueberry, always a classic. I have a Yankee outlet pretty close to me and I'm pretty fortunate because anytime of year I can go down to the outlet and get these kind of like almost like throwback type fragrances um, for pretty cheap year round. So yeah, I love blueberry. To me, this is an October fragrance because back in the day when I was a little girl, my mom would burn blueberry from Yankee and I kind of started to associate that with Halloween because she would always burn it around like October leading up to Halloween. So in my mind, it's a Halloween fragrance. I really enjoy it. So I have another one and I will definitely repurchase these. 
The very last candle that I used up was actually gifted to me. This is a Trader Joe's candle. This is in vanilla pumpkin and it says it's made with natural soy wax and it has a lead free cotton wick. So like I said, I was gifted this um, and for the most part, it burned down pretty well. So it has a little bit of wax on the sides, but that really didn't bother me. And the wick looks a little weird now, but actually the wick was pretty solid the whole time. So it's definitely not a room filler. I would recommend it for a smaller room or a bathroom. Um, but actually I really enjoyed this scent. So I feel like if I wanted a, a candle for a small space, I would definitely pick this up and it was a really good fragrance too. Okay, so let's move on to my wax. I'll start with my Yankee wax. I used up a tart in Cafe Al Fresco. So I purchased these, I think back during summer SAS at the outlet near me. And yeah, I, I don't like this scent as much as I used to. I used to go crazy over this scent, but I don't dislike it. I feel like I'm just kind of like changing my perspective a little bit because anymore, sometimes it can kind of come across a little bit oatmeal-y, like, um, uh, what is it, like maple and brown sugar oatmeal. It kind of smells a little bit like that to me anymore when it's warming, but it's not a bad fragrance. I just wish it had a little bit more of a robust coffee kind of scent to go along with the sugariness of the cappuccino or whatever. So anyway, ultimately, it's not like I wouldn't repurchase it, but I am kind of like pumping the brakes on this scent right now. And same goes for my chocolate layer cake. So I know that chocolate layer cake has always kind of been divisive and I used to really love it. And I think it's still nice from time to time, but I feel like anymore I kind of have to be in a mood for it because the chocolate does come across a little bit, I don't know, sometimes a little bit burnt, I think in my warmers. So anyway, I think that just like the Cafe El Fresco, I would repurchase it, but I do have to be in a mood for it, so it's not like I would go crazy with this anymore. Okay, um, I used up a Yankee Wax Milk Single. I also purchased a bunch of these at the Summer SAS. This one's in Black Cherry. Black Cherry is a lovely scent from Yankee. I really like it. Uh, similar to Black Cherry Merlot, but I think a little bit less medicinal. So if you want something a little bit less medicinal than that from Bath and Body Works, check out Black Cherry from, uh, from Yankee. The very last Yankee item that I melted was a votive and juicy watermelon. I am, mm, I'm a juicy watermelon fan. I feel like sometimes it can kind of give people a little bit of a headache because it, it is very strong and it smells very candy-like. It's not really a watermelon I would really want to eat, but it does smell really lovely, and I do have a few more of those, and I will definitely repurchase that. Okay, and lastly, I have some Walmart wax. I have a couple clamshells from Sensationals. One is in Lemon Blueberry Donuts, and it says, eat more whole foods. <laughs> um, so it says, they kind of changed their packaging, so now you have that kind of picture on the front, and this kind of bit on the back. Um, so it says it's a bakery scent. And I definitely agree with that. I definitely get a blueberry and almost like a lemon vibe from it, almost like a lemon icing and then kind of a donut note. So I really enjoy it, especially on a weekend morning. I really like this fragrance. Um, I believe I have one more maybe, but I would definitely repurchase this for sure. The last wax item that I used up is also from Sensationals. This is a clamshell and iced lemon sugar cookies. Another one that I absolutely adore and it is another bakery scent. This to me doesn't necessarily, well, I wouldn't say that it doesn't smell edible, but it kind of smells like a body care version of something that is edible. So yeah, I really like it. It says a soft and chewy citrus treat. I definitely get a cookie note from it. Like, you know, these really soft cookies that you can buy that are really flowery on the bottom. It kind of smells like those. Um, and I definitely do get mm, a bright, not cleaner, a bright, really yummy lemon scent from this, like a sugary lemon. So it's so good. I love it. I love it any time of year. It's so nice. And I love that picture too. So would repurchase for sure. So Overall, it's been a pretty good month for wax. I'm happy that I got through more candles than I did in September, and I'm hoping to get through some more in November, so we'll see. Um, as always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron. I'll put that down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.